let's have you stand up and sit back down because you have a good interview going, but the structure of the screen and your presence, your, pre your, your physical presence isn't backing up the interview that you're saying. And you, so did you up and down? Do you feel your abs engaged? Yes. Okay. Shoulders back. back. Okay. Slightly lean forward. That's a little too much, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's and you're happy. Well, Beyonce. Good. Yeah, Beyonce. <laughs> so let's let, oh, oh, lost posture. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Why don't you tell me the most interesting thing or unusual thing about her performance? Well, I think everyone can get behind the reunion of Destiny's Child. Yeah, you see, uh, you, you've got a square shot. Your body is definitely more confident in that. It's just a small little thing of the eye. But it makes all the difference in your, your enthusiasm of the topic, your presence, and all it was was making sure that your posture and your shoulders held the shot. Granted, that goes back to our original cardigan sweater <laughs> discussion, but part of it is it did completely change your confidence and also what that projects to the audience. If there's a monitor and you're in a studio, chances there are, make sure you take a look at yourself and not rely on the person in the control room or the crew because they don't care about you. They're looking at the anchor or the person who's interviewing you, making sure they look great. So if you can grab a quick glance of yourself, reposition where you're sitting, make sure you're sitting up, that's a great thing to do. And I know it's hard to remember that with all that mm -hmm. going on around you and you're probably dealing with a little bit of nerves too. Can you um, tell us what the Pentagon um, hoped to accomplish with this uh, missile strikes in Syria on Friday, and did they accomplish it? These strikes targeted three different locations inside Syria that were known to house chemical weapons storage facilities. So these were really going after the chemical weapons that could have been used in that horrific attack last Saturday. Um, it was an overwhelming use of so force. So right there, you could have you could have stopped. stopped. Yep. But it was a great example of going right out of the gate. There was no, um, yes, you know, any of that spacer. It was boom. Here's what happened. A, B, C, one, two, three, done. Because in this case, you're the only person being interviewed, so you don't have to compete for camera time. And she wants to get back in the game. And so she can ask you the next question. Okay. The other way you could have done that, because you're trying to get to the horrific, what happened, mm -hmm. is incorporated that more a little bit earlier. Sooner. So you didn't, did you hear yourself breathe? That pause and breathe? That's usually, when you hear yourself pause and breathe, Stop. Okay. that's the sign that your body's telling you they're losing attention. Okay. Make sure that you do that. Another way is look directly at the person who's interviewing you. You're less likely to do the so, mm, because oftentimes when we do those, we're looking down at our hands, the table, the wall, because we're buying time to get that information out of our, out of our um, mouths. Another way to do that, and I know you had no prep time, that's, but prep time. This shows the example of just taking five minutes, going and s just answering questions. And if you don't want to have anyone help you, because you just don't want to embarrass yourself or whatever, take a recorder, you know, record it on your phone and listen to yourself back. Because then it's going to capture the secret so's that snuck in, right? Right. Okay, so let's try the question and answer. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg was on the Hill last week. How do you do? The reaction to Zuckerberg's testimony, both in front of the Senate uh, Judiciary and Commerce Committees and the House Energy and Commerce Committees, has been mixed depending on who you asked. Uh, some people panned the lawmakers based on their knowledge of Facebook or not knowledge of Facebook. Um, some people thought that Zuckerberg wasn't being genuine in his uh, uh, answers to questions about security or um, whether your data is stored on the platform. Okay, yeah, that you knew it was time to end. That was that you could tell that at the end it was getting like, I'm getting out of my range, mm -hmm. and you ended. That's the right thing. Cynthia Nixon, <laughs> she's running for uh, governor of New York, and she's been, you know, pretty bullish, bullishly coming after um, Governor Andrew Cuomo. You know, I think she's having a really hard time. A lot of people connect her with her character on Sex and the City. They compare her to be an attorney on the well, show. Well, here's a third, and you know, and it may be a topic that you do feel like a third wheel on, but it looks that way 
in the case of, and, and this is something your stage director will correct in your chairs, but you're sitting a lot further back from the table. It makes you seem distance. So you want to move up, sit up. Okay. This is where checking your shot. See, look at you. Look closer to the table, right? Arms there. Let's can we can we go to the wide shot? Can we go all three? Ah, you match. And oftentimes you'll see when they are sitting down, they will go to a wide shot like that. You want to make sure that you're sitting in and matching. So let's have a conversation again about. And so the think tank, the Century Foundation, uh, filed the FOIA request last March, um, trying to see if they could get some of, some of these documents. Okay, so I'll stop right there. Remember, the, there, there just, I'm going to go through a few points. Remember how I said, don't throw it all out on the first answer? Yes. Well, okay. now I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that. So right when I stopped you was the exhaustion point. Okay. Okay, just in the cadence and the rhythm of these interviews. You know, you want to throw out in your first answer answer enough to get them excited about you, um, enough to get the conversation going. Because let's face it, when we ask your friend how you're doing and they're like, and this, and then this, and then I got sick, and then you're like, oh my God, you know, be quiet. It's the same thing in an interview. Just go enough to get, spark that interest to get the next question and buy them in. Because by asking that, having them ask the next question, you're buying that journalist into the next and your audience.